And we've been following police as they search for possible answers in this highly watched case. WRAG's Jordan James joins us live right now from the McDonald's at Perkins and Quince, where officers were earlier in Jordan. Was this in relation to Fletcher's disappearance as well? Hey, Shay, officials have not definitively said yet, but I can tell you it's a very active scene out here right now. I'm going to step out of the way to give you a better look at what we're seeing. There's dozens of members of law enforcement in the parking lot adjacent to McDonald's, some armed with guns. They've been out here over the last few hours. They have been at multiple sites all across the city over the last 48 hours. As Memphis police tells us, they're working around the clock to find Eliza Fletcher. Nearly 48 hours after the abduction of Eliza Fletcher, desperation is setting in across the community. More than anything, we want to see Eliza returned home safely. In their first public appearance, Eliza Fletcher's family pleaded for her return. We believe someone knows what happened and can help. As they called out for assistance, Memphis police announced a person has been detained after he was spotted driving the alleged vehicle used in her abduction. Memphis police aren't saying much about the incident, but reports suggest that the alleged suspect was involved in an accident, resulting in him being taken into custody. Despite recovering the vehicle, Fletcher was not found. Meanwhile, at her church, Second Presbyterian Church, many are leaning on their faith during these difficult times. We are thinking of them constantly and lifting them up in prayer to a God who um, is powerful and we are just praying she'll be found alive and safe and unharmed. A $50,000 reward is being offered for information about Eliza's whereabouts, which could bring a sense of comfort to her family and community during these difficult times. And at this hour, we're still working to determine if the person detained is facing any charges. Memphis police is asking anyone with information about Fletcher's whereabouts to call Crime Stoppers. That number again, 901-528-CASH. Reporting here live in East Memphis, Jordan James, WREG News Channel 3.